Hi, today we will see how we can do image to image in Comfy UI. I am using a painting by the great painter Caravaggio, which I really like. Our basic workflow is very simple. This is a classic image to image here, and of course you can find a link to the workflow in the description of the video. In the positive prompt I gave lot of weight to the word photograph, because that is what is important to me in the result. And in addition I added the word studio photo at the end of the prompt. In the negative prompt I wrote the word painting, because that is the thing I most want to stay away from. There is a basic K sampler here with DPM 2M and Kara, and the more important thing when we do image to image, is the denoise, let's set it as a start at 0.5 and press Q. I remind you that in a previous lesson we saw how you can change the style of almost any image, I will attach a link to this video in the description. This time we will build a different workflow that works on the principle of image to image and try to reach the desired result. As you can see, we get a picture that is similar in many ways to the original image but also different, and this is still not enough of a photography style. So we can play more with the denoise but whatever we do we probably won't get the desired result. So let's try to add a control net here. Let's start with one and we'll see how many we need. I use the canny model in. It already looks better. Let's now try to increase the denoise so that we might get a more interesting result in terms of style. And you can already see that we are getting more photographic qualities. But on the other hand the image has become black and white and we have lost some details. So let's connect another control net, mark the control net and the model, control plus C to copy, control plus shift plus V to paste with all the connections. Here I will choose to work with a tile model that relates more to the composition and coloring of the image, for this model you can connect the image directly, no need for a preprocessor. So we return to something more similar to the original, but we also moved away from the photographic quality we were looking for, notice also what suddenly happens in the shoulder area. So before we play a bit with the weights of the control nets let's add another control net with open pose that will help us maintain the pose and body structure of the character. And you need to remember that for the open pose you also have to prepare the image for the model, now that we have added the third control net, which we probably don't really need in this case, but I added it so that you have it for images with figures. We can start playing a little with the weights of the different control nets to reach the desired result, and this will change from image to image. In our case, I lower the strength of canny in open pose because I want to maintain as much similarity as possible between the source and the final result and press Q. And this is already a much more interesting result. Let's try to improve it and the general quality by using a second pass, I copy the K sampler and paste with all the existing connections. It is important to change the seed and of course the denoise, And if you noticed, the image we received is not so sharp, and this is related to our source image, which is a bit blurry, then in order to fix it. We will use the node that comes with Comfy, Image Contrast Adaptive Sharpening, and allows us to sharpen the image. Just make sure you don't exaggerate with the sharpening. And this is the result we got after refining. This is the original image of the great Caravaggio, this is the image after the first pass, this is the image after the second pass, and this is the result after we did sharpening. So I hope you learned and we will meet in next lessons. You are more than welcome to ask questions comment and like. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.